everybody welcome you have fuzz on your lips you have little fuzz on your lips hello everyone and welcome to the vlog I am headed to Dallas Texas this is gonna be my Dallas Texas vlog so welcome buckle up I just finished packing so I'll show you guys what I packed and let's go on the road okay so one thing that's kind of frustrating is I cannot pack light you guys because I always need to bring my food and my supplements and snacks essentials duh <laughs> Shoes, a whole bag of shoes, my gym bag, and then over there I have like my regular clothes and makeup and I have a hair dryer, hair straightener, and hair curler. It's kind of annoying, but I have all my things, which is great. All my work stuff in there. I have uh, Vinny's bed, blanket, more blanket, more toys and food for him. He's actually gonna go spend the weekend at Nani and Papa's. Where are you? Did you know that you're gonna spend the weekend at Nani and Papa's? With your cousin Gracie? You're gonna love her so much. You guys are gonna play every day. Normally I would bring Vinny with me, but I have all day events, multiple days in a row. So he would actually be pretty unhappy staying alone in a new environment compared to staying with his Nani and Papa, getting love and kisses, and his cousin Gracie that he gets to play with every single day. We recently had to put down the family dog. She was so old. Her name was Bella. It was so sad. So Gracie, the one that's still at the house, she's been a little depressed and they love playing. So I think that Vinny will come and brighten her spirits up. So it's a win-win for everybody. I wish that I could be one of those girls that packs like this cute little duffel that's like, hi, I'm here in this cute duffel. I need nothing. But I want all of my supplements with me. I think about it. I could decide not to pack my greens. But like, I want to have my greens every single day. I could wear the same exact shoes for every outfit, but it wouldn't be as cute. I'd rather wear my boots on one night, my heels on the other, my flip-flops now, and my gym shoes for the other. Just a lot of things. I have fully accepted. I am a high maintenance girl. I'm a high maintenance girl when it comes to packing. It doesn't take much to please me though. I can be happy in a really crappy, hotel room with someone that I love and be just fine. But I like to have my greens with me. <laughs> I already miss you, Vinny. My little puffers. I don't know if other dog parents or dog moms go through this, but I'm driving, I'm like looking at Vinny and I'm like petting him. And what's going through my head is like, how many days am I about to be without him? And like thinking about like not having him here to pet his cute little head or not cuddling him and waking up spooning with him at night. And then I'm like, what if he's at the parents' house and he thinks that I left him? And then I was thinking, I think this is the longest that we've ever been separated in your entire life. I need you to know that I'm coming back. You know I'm coming back, right? Like 100% the parents are gonna love you so much. I'm gonna miss you every single hour And then I like start almost crying because I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna miss him so much I'm just having a moment. I just have to remember he's gonna bring so much sunshine to Gracie the Great Dane here And he's gonna like make her feel better He's gonna make my parents feel better too and he's gonna be so much happier and I keep reminding myself He hates long car rides actually not long. He hates all car rides <laughs> He hates car rides cuz like he would not want to do a four-hour drive to Dallas there and back and spend a lot of time Alone while I'm gone all day at events. I know you're gonna be so much happier It's really just me that we're convincing it's gonna be okay. <laughs> I don't know that I'm gonna be okay. I don't know <laughs> I love you Comment down below if you're also a fur baby mom and you understand or fur baby dad you know where we are. Are you so excited? You love it here, huh? Oh. Oh, he's so happy. Good puppies. Okay, Vinny. Hey, listen. Can we have a little chat? You be good puppy for Nani and Papa, okay? You listen to them. You cuddle them. You give them all the love they need. Remember not to bring up, you know what, with Gracie, okay? Talk about other things, okay? Who is that? <laughs> he just got so happy. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good. Uh, picking up my 45. Oh, nice. What's up? What's up? My shirt. Sure. He's gonna need all the cuddles and love. Oh, he's not happy at all to be here. Go. Good boy. Ooh, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's a 1911. That's beautiful. Oh, that feels so nice. About two hours into the trip, stopped at a gas station and I'm hungry so I'm having a meal right now. I actually just mixed up some of this 
vegan power protein. I love this protein. It is so delicious and great with just water. I have my water here, so I have my protein powder right there. I'll fill up my water with some BCAAs, these strawberry candy BCAAs. It's a new flavor with first form, and they're so good. Try it out, you'll love it. And I'm also gonna have a little tangerine, little on-the-go meal, and let's see. I wasn't fully empty, I still had a little bit of a tank left, but gas is only 275 here, which is actually still high for Texas, but way lower than California, so yay for that. Okay, so I didn't vlog when I got here. I just wanted to hang out. I went to dinner that night and played bowling and like a bunch of games and stuff with Tommy. He's about to have his first show, so we were just hanging. And then um, I wanted to film today because we're gonna be training at Metroflex in just a little bit here. Metroflex Fort Worth is supposed to be a new gym, pretty awesome. But right now, I need to eat a meal. So I have my vegan iced oatmeal protein powder, which you guys already saw, which I absolutely love. And there, I have my pre-workouts in there. I need to take my vitamins. I'm really staying on top of my vitamins while I'm here, my thyroid drive and full mega. And yeah, I love being able to bring all my food because then I'm just, I have everything I need all the time. Strawberry candy BCAAs are freaking amazing. It's in my separate shaker cup. So I'm doing a horrible job vlogging and I really apologize it, but I think for these weekends I just need to hire somebody to come with me because when I'm actually in the moment, I don't want to like grab my camera out and like not be present, you know what I mean? Like it feels weird to throw my camera in my friend's faces. <laughs> I don't want to do that. So I think from now on I might just get some help so I can get a cool vlog out for you guys. And it'd be just, I don't know, it's cool content because a lot of my friends are people that you guys also know in the industry and stuff. So I feel like we could do some cool stuff. I just, I struggle to vlog on my own during stuff like this because I just, I enjoy being present and I love seeing my friends and I just, yeah, I just want to be present. So I apologize, this vlog kind of sucks, but I'm still gonna use it, I'm still gonna throw it up. I will include some iPhone footage probably because again, I don't want to hold my camera, so it's gonna stay in the car. <laughs> don't hate me. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you saw it, so there's that. <laughs> it's all good. I'm justifying it so that I feel less bad about putting my camera up. But genuinely, it's a big camera and I don't want to hold it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go in there, hopefully meet some of you guys, and then go to a rock concert tonight. Hey, and then an EDM concert tomorrow. Tommy. I'm Tommy. We're training legs today. What are we starting with? We're doing hamstring curls. 
and quad extensions. The goal and, uh, is... She's making me look bad. <laughs> I'm not. 100%. The goal is to try and just get some blood flow in the area. So what I like to do is go really slow and controlled, pump the muscle up, get all the blood in that area. And then when you go on to your next exercise, like probably leg press or squats, whatever we feel like doing. Press. Blood press. Your muscles are nice and ready for the movement. I don't like to go straight into a big compound lift without first just getting the blood flow in that area. So let's crush it. Also to prevent injury, make sure to stretch. <laughs> the proper dynamic warm up from our friend Muriel. My friend Muriel didn't stretch once. Guess what? She, she died. died. <laughs> Notice on the hamstring curls, it's really important to control the negative portion of the movement. A lot of people will do the movement, whether it's the leg extension, they go out and then they just like drop it down. Or when they're doing the hamstring curl, they'll squeeze and drop it down. Slow on the way down, control it. Every single part of the movement counts. Every single part, make it count. Don't waste one second on the movement. Second exercise, we got leg press on the agenda. Doing some straight sets, no supersets here. Feeling nice and strong, I'm capping it at 12 reps. So for this next one, I'm adding some more weight and just kind of keeping my max range at 12. I would actually love to get like eight to 10 and feel kind of at failure by then. I'm not going to failure, like not true failure, not like me and Doug failure, but like failure from where I'm at right now. That's a lie. I'm training hard and wanting to go to failure. I just love training, I can't not train, especially when I feel good. I feel good, so I'ma go with it. Let's go. I am a fucking princess. I deserve everything. I want these games. Get it, come on. Easy money. Spider girl. Third exercise for me, I did sissy squat, but focused on the glutes. I would normally do something like 15 regular reps, and then at the bottom, keeping it just on the glutes, I would barely come up. Just do the bottom portion of the rep for like five reps or so, and make sure I get the glutes nice and hard and squeeze, like keep that pump in there. And then by the end, I was like passing out. <laughs> uh, Tommy did the pit shark. I didn't film those two exercises, but I chose not to do that because when I do that, I focus on my quads too much, and I'm not trying to build my wheels. They're already there, you know?
I was too hungry to film it, but post-workout, I ate one of these beef stir-fry rice and Kyoto blend meals from Icon Meals. By far, one of my favorite meals that they have. I always get the beef and the chicken version. What are we bringing? We got snacks too. So we drove to BFE, stands for? Egypt. <laughs> Egypt, to visit some of our friends, Shane and Kat. We're collaborating on some podcasts and stuff today, so. DB and gentlemen, let's go. Ready? No. Yeah. What does that mean? Are we ready? Right? <laughs> So we are at the Casa de Divit Gentleman in Boston and the Brit, and what else? <laughs> Is that it for now? <laughs> On the side, breathwork facilitator. <laughs> yeah. Great intro. And okay, so we're having proper tea time. Tea. Um, we are having the green dragon tea, <laughs> and this is not even on the menu yet. It's only for our special guest, Emily Hayden. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he doesn't make the tea. I was gonna say, so clearly not it. the scientist. It, clearly. <laughs> have a smell. I know you can't smell oh, wait, the camera, smell. but have, smell, a, have smell. a look. Oh, how wow, pretty that it smells is. good right through the lens. <laughs> that smell good? <laughs> What do you smell? Yeah, it's like one. Sweaty. It smells like blueberry. Is there blueberry in there? It's no. Got, like pineapple. Oh, pineapple. That's what it is. It's and is this not the cutest little tea set that you've ever seen? It's the first time you. Did you know I've always kind of wanted a tea set? Really? Mm -hmm. Well, don't buy one and wait. We'll, we'll make Boston and the Brit tea set. Is that a thing? <gasps> Will you please like you you take out this screen? The and then you she's the Brit. The she clearly knows what she's talking about. You know what's funny is I've actually been drinking Boston and the Brit tea like literally every day since I got y'all's tea, and I was thinking to myself. Off. I know I'm doing this wrong. I know that when I go there, Kat's gonna like have a way that she does yeah. things. Even I know, like I saw somebody the other day <laughs> dumping boiled water out of oh, a pot yeah, and I was God. like, oh dude. I'm gonna kick it. I won't even hot, tell you what I do. <laughs> do not microwave water. Does she microwave water? <gasps> She gave you tea with microwave water. We haven't even <laughs> tasted Boston and the Brit tea now because it tastes terrible. I'll have one now. Oh, will Let's you? do it. Yeah. Do you hyped it up too much. I now know. it's serious. I'm like, all right. Okay, where are we at? We are at the Harvest Market. What do you get here? food, um, stuff that they have at a market. <laughs> Gosh, this is great. This is so cute. It's really cute. Wow. To build your own stuff, bring your, build your own rock hole, make a salad. Dinner tonight is a poke bowl with salmon, tuna, seaweed salad, cabbage, avocado, lemon, and some rice on the bottom. We have a separate plate of sushi with more tuna and salmon, probably albacore. What did you guys get? Um, Shrimp tempura, spicy something, and something spicy again. California roll. I know my sushi really well. Do not eat mommy's blanket. That's mommy's favorite blanket. <laughs> 